Our Pink Polish Dance Studio, local dance organization that promotes sisterhood, self-confidence, showmanship, founder and creative director. Alexis joining us this morning. Alexis and her dancers, because they're going to perform for us. I love it. Good morning, all of you. Good morning. Thank you for being here. We got a little tease just a few seconds ago, and yes. that was amazing. Thank you. <laughs> I can't wait to see uh, these girls dancing. So tell us, Pink Polish Dance Studio, what are you all about, Alexis? We are about sisterhood, self-confidence, and preparing the girls to be dancers and develop their skill set, um, training them to attend HBCUs, exposing them to different cultural activities. So we do college tours. Wow. We've taken them to two historically black colleges, Jackson State University nice. and Texas Southern University. Very nice. And we'll actually be headed back there this fall. Okay, talk about motivation, right? Yes. To be able to see these colleges and universities and one day they can dance at these schools. Yes. <laughs> Attend these schools. That's yes, a big deal. For uh, sure. You've been in San Diego how long? I've born and raised here, okay. but after college I came back and we started Pink Polish nice. in 2015. In 2015. Uh, so let's talk about that. Why is that so important for you to be able to obviously pass on this HBCU culture, the moves, the dancing, all yeah. of that. I mean, this is obviously something you're so passionate about and it's contagious. <laughs> For sure. Um, so as a teenager, I watched Major Ed Dance on YouTube. Yeah. There was no reality shows at the time. There was no exposure really here in San Diego. So when I went to college, I was determined. I was self-taught, self-trained, and wow. I still made the team, but it was very hard. Wow. It was a culture that I didn't <laughs> understand, but I learned to embrace. How, um, Alexis, you taught yourself <laughs> how to do it and you made the team? Yeah, I watch YouTube. <laughs> I watched a lot of YouTube. This is before TikTok and Instagram. Right. So coming back, it was important that these kids have the same opportunities that little girls in the South have where they train mm -hmm. um, at young ages at this age yeah. all the way up until their seniors in high school and then they go audition for these teams so they're prepared okay. so we put them on big stages um, now yeah. so that the stage the floor the halftime doesn't intimidate them in college oh, nice. they've performed just last night they performed at the Harlem Globetrotters wow. and <laughs> we are you just did that yes <laughs> That's and amazing. we're actually gonna perform at the NBA game next Sunday You're kidding no so That's they huge. they are <laughs> very well trained and yeah. very well exposed to the limelight so we hope to see each and every one of these girls at the HBC of their choice. That's awesome. So tell me the age range, because we've seen quite a few, right? Yes, we have <laughs> itty bitties all the way up to high school. Yeah, so our youngest in front of you. there we is go. three. <laughs> Um, three and our old. three years old <laughs> is how young we take them. Um, but at three, they only train. Okay. Um, at five, six, they start competing. Yeah. Um, and then our oldest right now is high school. You have nice. 10th graders and 9th graders. Okay. And the goal eventually, HBCU campuses. Yeah? Yes, HBCU <laughs> dance awesome. lines, college, it doesn't matter where they go. Mm -hmm. Honestly, we train them for whatever. That's so. amazing. I want to talk to a couple of the dancers. If you don't yes. mind, tell me, how old are you first of all? 10. 10. What's your name? Sanaya. Sanaya, what's it like to be part of Pink Polish? Um, it's fun because <laughs> you have friends and um, it's like really fun. Yeah, and they're performing on this big stage. Wait, who was in the performance last night at the Harlem Globetrotters? All Globe of them Trial? performed All of at the there. Harlem Globetrotters. Whoa, tell me what that was like. Who could I talk to here? Let's talk Let's to talk the one to in Miss the Pink Polish the over here. Come on here, Pink Polish. What's your name? Cheyenne. Cheyenne. What was that like to be at the on the court there, right? <laughs> it's really amazing to have all these opportunities and to perform in front of a whole bunch of people. Yeah. I love it. And now you get to perform for our viewers at home. I'm going to yeah. step away so you guys can do your thing. And go ahead, Pink Polish, take it away. Let's go.